Well, new here at 6 o'clock, a great surprise for a Jeopardy contestant. If you're a Jeopardy fan, like we all are, you know the show has been holding a second chance tournament for contestants who fell just short of qualifying for the Tournament of Champions. A three time champion in South Boston had been waiting for an invitation to the Champions Wild Card Tournament, which provided a terrific opportunity for us to work with Jeopardy on this unforgettable surprise. What do you know about this Champions Wild Card competition? Uh, I know that it's been kind of a wild card. It's kind of a wild card in itself that they threw out. I did not know that they were going to do this. I know that they've brought back uh, people who've won at least one game, some multiple, who didn't necessarily qualify for the tournament, which I was happy to hear about because I was just shy of, I think it's four games is the mark to qualify for the Tournament of Champions. So if I were to get called for this, this would really up my chances of getting in. But uh so you would love to be called back? Oh, absolutely, yes. What was the best thing about competing on the Alex Trebek stage? I think, honestly, the fact that it was fun. Everyone there wants to, everyone's nervous when you show up. You know, you can see it. Everyone's jittery. Everyone's just as nervous as you are. And when you go out there, there's no sense of animosity. There's no sense mm. of, you know, competition or ambition it's just like let's have fun you're playing a game after all yeah. when it ended were you did you feel like wow you know what this was amazing or were you like this was amazing and I'm a little sad it's over I, I think the latter yeah obviously who wouldn't want to keep right. going well I think we have if we can cue it up um, a message from Jeopardy okay. that they wanted us to share with you so it's gonna be okay. right here Hi, Sean. This is Ken Jennings with a little message for you here on the Alex Trebek stage. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but we are not going to be able to invite you back for our Champions Wild Card competition. Because you're going straight to the Tournament of Champions. <laughs> Congratulations, Sean. We'll see you back here soon. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. He had me going for a second. I know. <laughs> Just the look on his face. Yeah. He's obviously a good poker player, yeah. too. I was going to say for a second, I'm like, this seems a little mean to do this on air. <laughs> How do you feel? That's incredible. I, I, that's, that's awesome. That, uh, this is great. I ain't got nothing to say. That's incredible. It's so nice to be yeah. able to share good news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are, there, is, are there competitors that you right now, as you sit here, are thinking, I really hope I get to go up against this person? I would, I would certainly love a rematch with Ray Lalonde, the guy who ended my streak. Um, I'm definitely a little nervous of pot about potentially facing um, Chris Panulo, who I think was the biggest winner of last season. He had like a 16 or 17 day, day streak. So, I mean, I'm a little nervous to face any of those really big winners, but it'd be exciting to see how I can hold my own against them. But yeah, that's, that's incredible news. That's <laughs> Clear the bar stools at L Street. Yes. We're gonna have a crowd again. Yes, we are. <laughs> awesome, congratulations. Thank that's super you so exciting. much. Okay, that was so much fun. People watched at L Street as he competed, and the crowd grew each night that he was on, so that's going to happen again. The taping is expected to begin in February. We'll definitely let you know when Sean McShane is going to be on. He seems like such a cool guy. Have to root for him. And by the way, for the first minute, I thought, Lisa is pulling off world's meanest trick to this poor guy. I was happy, I, I was I happy to that. see that Ken Jennings popped in and finally said, yes, you're coming to the tournament. Uh -huh.